Hey guys, Brennan Mejia here from Power Rangers Dino Charge. Today I'm gonna to share with you the Power Rangers crossover that you never got to see, what it could have looked like, and why ultimately it never saw the light of day. Let's get into it. So to start this story, it was a cold winter's night, about 10 p.m. to be exact. I was sipping hot cocoa. I made this all up, it wasn't winter. Anyway, it was actually at Power Rangers Morphicon when we were there the year after, basically, you know, so we do our filming for Dino Charge, and then we get invited to the next Morphicon to help announce the cast that will be taking over the mantle of the show. And so the next show up was Power Rangers Ninja Steel. So while we were there sitting in our own room, we knew the Ninja Steel Rangers were in the room next to us, but we didn't know who they were. We didn't get to meet them yet. It was under wraps, it was a secret, and we found out it was a secret because they had Peter Sodarso, the blue Ninja Steel Ranger, who was actually the blood relative brother of Yoshi Sodarso, my Blue Ranger, and they didn't want him to know because they lied to Yoshi telling him his brother did not get cast in Ninja Steel. So while we were there waiting, Chip, our executive producer, came into our room and was like, hey guys, how would you like to go back to New Zealand and do a crossover you know, with the new season? We're all like, yeah, we'd love to go back because we all love New Zealand. It's a beautiful country, amazing people, great food, all the things you want to go vacation and then live and work and get paid while you're there, right? Um, so yeah, we all were like, yes, please. So. We ended up announcing the Ninja Steel cast at Morphicon. We were on stage and we had the name of each of our respective colors. So I announced Will Schufelt, who was the red Ninja Steel Ranger. Yoshi was just saying nothing because he was staring at his paper thinking it was hallucinating because Chip lied to him telling him Peter did not get the role. And I went behind him. You could actually find footage of this on YouTube where I smack him on the back and he's like, Peter, get out here! And then they come out and hug, which was amazing. So lies are not nice, but it was a really cool tender moment. Uh, I digress. So from that moment on, we all had it in our heads that we were going back to do Ninja Steel crossover for the 20th or for the 25th anniversary. So the way it was pitched to us was that there was going to be a 25th anniversary, which would be like the crossover that you guys all saw, where it was different Rangers. So they had like you know my Blue Ranger, Tommy went back and led the team. Um, they had some people, other people from Mighty Morphin, CR I believe was there from Mega Force, and so it was like this just team right of a bunch of different Rangers working together. That was always planned, but there was also going to be a separate crossover episode between Ninja Steel and Dino Charge. So after Chip talked to all of us at Power Morphicon about this crossover, you know, it kind of went radio silent for a while, but then about, I think it was like a month or so later, got an email. He's like, yeah, I hope you guys are all excited to come back. And basically this is gonna be a crossover separate from the 25th anniversary. And the way it would have unfolded, we didn't get a lot of the details of the storyline, but to me, it would have been something cool. We are actually thinking like, what if Yoshi's character Koda, instead of him coming back, we got to work with his like descendant. So. If you watch the end of Dino Charge, basic Coda goes back to his time, Ivan goes back to his time, um, because, you know, C Coda, our Blue Ranger, is a caveman, and our Gold Ranger is a knight from, like, Renaissance-type era. Uh, but then we always thought it'd be cool if we had a descendant of Coda who spoke perfect English instead of caveman English that Yoshi could then play as a modern age kind of person, and the crossover, I thought, would have been a great place to basically showcase that. So it's still our full team of Dino Charge, but instead of Coda coming back, we got to work with his descendant. So in regards to what monster we would have fought or what kind of Megazord battle, couldn't tell you. I don't actually believe there was a crossover in the Sentai between Dino Charge or Kyoto and Ninninger, but we could have shot original footage and maybe even if there was no Megazord. I think it would have been cool to have an episode where Megazords maybe went offline because the, the, the morphing grid got hacked or something happened where we could only fight as civilians and then we had to find another source of power and then we fought just as Power Rangers because then you could take out the giant Megazord battles that they shoot in Japan and then have just original footage shot in New Zealand with the in-suit actors. So why this didn't happen, the details are still a little hinky, but basically we got emails every once in a while being like, hey, so due to budget, we can't bring all of you back. So basically we'd get an email and one of us would be nixed from the list. So it'd be like, all right, so yeah, I wanna bring you guys, but unfortunately this person can't come. And so we'd feel bad and I'd be like, okay, but so we're still going? Um, so it went from a full team team crossover, right? Or at least the, the five core rangers uh, for my season because there's 10 of us. And then we get another email and they'd be like, actually, we still can't bring, so now it's gonna be you know just three of you. And then eventually it got to the point where they're like, actually, we can only bring two or one of you. And so it was between myself and Yoshi. So as I mentioned earlier, Yoshi's brother, Peter, 
is the Blue Ranger and Ninja Steel, actual brothers who played Blue Rangers back to back in different seasons. So I was feeling bad because I really, really wanted to go back to New Zealand. I love that country. My fingers were so crossed, like, come on, let me go back. There wasn't a lot of work in America at the time for me, but I ended up ultimately sending Chip an email, again, our executive producer, going, hey, as much as I'd love to come back, it just makes sense. If you can only bring one of us, bring Yoshi back because his brother is literally in the season. And how cool would it be to have you know them together? And so Chip replied something to the effect of, I really appreciate you saying that. And honestly, we're leaning towards bringing Yoshi anyway. So it's not like my decision changed his answer, but I think it just maybe gave him more peace about it because we were all super excited to go back and then it ended up only being one of us. Would I have loved to go? Of course. Was I super bummed at the time? Absolutely. I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't want to go. And I was in this weird crossover time where I wasn't working a lot of new stuff just yet. So Power Rangers was still like the main thing I was known for coming off of. And I was super happy for Yoshi, but I was also, you know, low key jealous that I didn't get to go back. Uh, and then after they did that anniversary, I kind of held out hope maybe I'd, you know, get to go back another time. And lo and behold, I did on Beast Morphers, which is another episode. And I have another video talking about that experience. But the really cool thing also about Yoshi going back. So once he got to go back and once I made peace that I wasn't going back, Yoshi, after filming Dino Charge, went to Japan and got a tour of some of the Super Sentai like studios and whatnot. And they actually put him in an episode of the Ninja Steel Sentai. I believe it's called Ninninger. So they called in the cast to shoot an episode where Yoshi is the civilian and he gets rescued by the blue Super Sentai Ranger in Nin Ninninger. And so even though he does a crossover, then in Ninja Steel, I don't believe they could ever use that footage, right? Because how do you explain our Blue Ranger being saved by their Blue Ranger but our Blue Ranger wasn't playing a Ranger, he was just playing a random dude getting saved. It's just super cool. Like if you think about it, like different dimensions. So this version of Yoshi wasn't a Ranger and he actually lived in Japan and got saved by them. So super cool that that even happened. I mean, I'd love to be in a Sentai because I don't know what's happening with Power Rangers right now. It's, I don't even know. Now I didn't get to return to Power Rangers and Ninja Steel, but I did return in Power Rangers Beast Morphers. If you'd like to see me break that down, watch this video.